Hey, this is Melissa. Today I'm going to show you how you can lock some of these digital activities for students so they don't accidentally delete the information needed to complete the task. So for example, if you notice I'm clicking around, all of this is locked and I did this by using the master slide and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to go to insert, I'm sorry, you want to go to slide and you want to go to edit master. So as you can hear, see here, I created all of this information in the master slide. So let me just show you just a little bit of how I created this. So I'm going to create a blank one. You can use any of these and just delete any of this information in there and use that slide. So there you go. So what I did is I went to insert and I went to table and it is a um, hundred chart so I'm gonna go ahead and make that hundred chart here and I just used a table and I'm just gonna make it the way that I would like so I've got my hundreds my tens and my ones okay so if I'm okay with that um, I can go ahead and change the color here if I want this to stand out I'm gonna use the bucket filler make that yellow okay so for time's sake, that is how you create. So in there, you're just creating like you regularly do when you create in slides. Um, the other thing you want to do is you'll want to put some boxes where students can type in information. You can put it here and um, or you can put it on the, the slide. So that's up to you. If you want that part locked, you can go ahead and put it here, but you do have to insert a text box, but I'm gonna show you another way. All right, so let's say that we have it all and we like the way it is. I'm going to go ahead and name that. This is going to be my hundreds um, chart. All right, I'm gonna save it right there. I've got everything that I want. I'm ready to go. I just click um, the X to exit out and I have to go insert that into my slide deck. So do you see the, the plus sign and the drop down arrow? I'm just gonna go to the drop down arrow, find it. There's my hundreds chart there bring it in there. Now that is locked. So students cannot accidentally delete that. For example, here, I lock these here. So you can choose to lock those and put those in the master slide and then insert a, um, a text box. And that's what that is right there. Or you can go and insert a shape here and have students type in the box. So I um, I put my box there. Notice that my cursor is in the middle. I can fix that by going up and using these tools right here. The align, I'm gonna make them type at the beginning. I could put type here to show um, standard form. So they will be able to delete that in this box like this. So it's it's up to you. If you want it like this and putting in the text box, you can do that or you can choose to put in a shape and have the students type in there. So another thing you want to be um, aware of or um, another helpful tip is to use the outside areas of the slide. Um, these you don't want to lock because you want students to be able to drag those. Now they will delete it. So you want to make sure you put a few so there's enough for them to make and build the number. On the side, you could add directions, but also in the speaker notes, you can add directions. So just, just another way for you to think of those spaces that you can use in between. All right, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.